Ardina. Yes, I am. How wonderful. Thank you for being here. Thank you too. I'm happy to see you and welcome to my studio. And thank you for taking some time to talk with me today. We are so excited about these conversations. We love speaking with you. We love that we have our own show. We are we are just bursting with excitement. If you cannot tell, we wanted all the clothes today and we want to know what would you like to talk about today? I would really like to talk about your experiences here as a hybrid human alien and I just really want to learn more about those experiences. The reason I do, the understanding I'd like to have is uh, because I think of all of the things that I have learned from my transgender friends about humanity and about being a human and about expressing ourselves and I feel like you're in a similar situation to them because you had to come out, I suppose we could say. You had to find your footing as someone who would be considered different. And I would love to learn everything I can about your experiences that way, if that sounds like a good conversation to you. Well, all conversations sound good to us. So yes, of course. Well, there is a lot there. So let's just go first to, I, I do not consider myself a hybrid. Rachel Knight, that was a term given to her from someone who was channeling the Pleiadians. So we, we understand that it might harmonize with her, but even she does not care for labels that much. At first, they might be helpful to orient yourselves right to get a footing as you say as who you are and what you are choosing to be but they of course cannot encapsulate who you are because you are everything you are just choosing which perspective to use at the time and that is not to say that you don't choose that ahead of a life you may choose one perspective an entire life right like being of a different sexual orientation, right? You may be fluid in that, you may be fixed in that. It is all wonderful. You are just choosing a perspective and everything is valid. So we, me right now, we will leave Rachel out of it. I do not consider myself to have had any adjustment period at all. I do not lose my connection to my home world and therefore I do not pick up that resistance that Rachel would have had or others on your planet would have. So there is, there was an announcement when I started to speak, but it wasn't anything we were afraid of. And when we, we leave the house, we are not the ones that, I say we because we cannot separate ourselves, but I, I am not afraid of anything. We, I am so focused on the well-being. That is all I know. That is all I know. I, there is no repercussion for anything that I do other than positivity, right? And now, have you been with Rachel her her whole life? Have you been connected since she was born? Yes, of course. Rachel is a combination of beings, and I have been with her since before she was born. I am part of why she was born. It is like your higher self and you. There are two perspectives that are capable of being there. You, from what you observe as a human, you view yourself as separate, therefore you have a separate perspective. That can include resistance, right? And adherence to your laws on this planet. And then there is your higher self perspective that is always in touch with the rest of life. That is capable of having a separate 
view. That is the same here. So um, that kind of then answers my next question because I was wondering about when she was little and you were with her, you know, if it felt different than it does now. If you looked out into the world as a little kid with her and had to figure out your way of expressing at the time, but that almost seems like, well, I'll let you, I'll let you address that actually. We are pretty seamless, we must say, just like you. When you are feeling good, you are seamless with your higher self. And Rachel felt very good most of the time in her childhood. She lost a bit of connection in her later teen years and her early 20s, but she was still doing worthwhile things. And she was still us, right? That never goes away. So her expression, her adventure, her art, love, all came from us, the, the whole group. I was very influential in her earth life because I'm a little closer to that than the others. The others are a little more removed from being physical. So even though I am not physical on my planet, I still have a bit of influence over how she shows up here, right? Just like this, this is a physical interpretation of energy. And she carried that through most of her life because of this. So it is pretty seamless, which is why we do use the word us very often, not just for me and Rachel, but for me and the whole group. And the whole group being like guides and angels and, and ener that kind of energy, is that what you're referring to? Well, she would call them all that, yes, but they are, so if you think about, it is not quite accurate, none of this is linear, so it, it is hard to explain in a way that would feel truly resonant, but if you think about, most people think they have one soul, right, that's animating their body, Rachel has many many souls that animate her body and a lot of you do you may not be experiencing them all at the same time right but you pull energy from many places and so does rachel she's just more aware of it than most mm, that actually sounds um it sounds wonderful because if you're not if you're aware of it and you're tapping into that energy, now you're not going, it, it seems like it doesn't allow for the same kind of resistance than if you're not aware for it, of it. So it seems pretty, uh, pretty nice, pretty exciting. Oh, it is all very exciting. All of your lives are exciting. That's why you are here, all of it. You do not need multiple souls to be excited about life, but yes, it's very exciting. That's well, why we banded together in the first place. We all wanted a piece of it. Yes, and I was going to ask you, isn't that kind of why you came here? Isn't that why you chose to be part of this reality too? Because of that excitement. Yes. Yes. To be with people like you. Because cool. we are we are beyond a lot of what you are still doing here. And so it is fun to come back. It is fun to see the scene change like this. You see it as a constant image, many of you. The view out your window or what your day looks like, but we, we see it change constantly. Every moment is new. And that is true for us as well, where we live, but there is such variety and richness here and your contrast that you try to fight against that you try to make wrong we love that we love seeing that it is like why you go to the movies why you go to the public places that you do this is why you leave your homes you love the variety that is what we can get here are there any of the simple things like that that we have here that you are not able to experience in, uh, in your um, on your planet 
the very thing that came to my mind was recently when I put my feet into hot sand. And I wondered if you can experience on your planet similar physical things that give such joy, but you do have to have, for that particular moment, feet and sand. <laughs> well, it's just funny because we are always in joy. We always have our feet in the hot sand. We always appreciate and love and revel. So that is our constant state. So we do not have the, like you say, the difference. Our feet are always in there and you notice the difference when you take them out, right? So coming here is our hot sand moment, right? Okay. It is a little different, but we will, of course, I would not change where I live. I love where I live. It is, it is so hard to explain here. It is, it is what you all ask for. It is constant love and beauty and connection. It is, it is there's nothing you could ever possibly worry about. All is well-being, all, all the time, 100%. We do not know anything but well-being, but love, it is all love. So that is what you are all wishing for. And of course you have access to that too. You're orienting toward that reality for yourselves is what takes you from where you live to where I live. It is just that. There are no people saying that you pass the test and you get to come here. No, you do it yourselves. Do you feel like you can sort of see that a little bit better You're, because you are here and looking at it from a different perspective? Do you feel like it helps you to see that reality more clearly than, than you did before you came here? Yes, of course, of course, because I can step out of it in a way. I, I still maintain my connection to that perspective more than I have to you and yours. But yes, of course, it lets me have some room in between to look at it. Wow, that seems really just exciting. It is like when you meditate. When you meditate and you find that connection, you can feel the difference between how you normally feel and go about your life and that state, right? It is the same. Yeah. So I have a, a question that's um, uh, very human oriented and um, it's about our weirdness. I think our weirdness is the most wonderful thing about us. When we are in our weirdness, we're in our gifts. So I think weird is a fantastic word, but I think it's very easy to reject that, suppress it, ignore it because, well, because weird is a, uh, it can be, it can be difficult. So I want, I would like to get your advice on how we just open up to the weirdness and let it come out and be our biggest, most wonderful, amazing, weirdest selves. Well, we love that you have that view, but even that is causing a rift because you are not just yourself when you are weird, you are yourself anytime you are feeling connected. And you may be feeling connected on a walk or in your sleep or talking to a friend when you are not necessarily all up in your weirdness. So just love yourself more. Care about how you feel. Talk to yourself in loving ways and nurture who you know yourself to be that loving being, that creative being, that caring being, not caring for the world per se, caring for yourself. That will soothe you enough so that you aren't afraid of what others might say. You only care about how you feel. And if you are feeling inspired to create something or to be weird, then you will do it because it is more important for you to feel truthful and to feel expressed than it is to please other people. 
that is our best advice for all that you wish to accomplish. That is a very good reminder because when we are uh, truly loving ourselves um, and taking care of ourselves and not worrying about what we do for the rest of the world, that expresses it out and makes the world better anyway. Yes. Yeah. You cannot help but help the world, no matter what you do. So you can all give up that guilt trip. It is a natural part of who you are. On another subject, I just have to say, I love how much you love co bright colors and sparkles and everything that shines. I just think that's fantastic. Thank you, we love it too. When Rachel sees spirits, most often they look like fog with tiny pieces of glitter in them. And when you hear the angels, you will often hear harmonics. There are some things on your planet that already mimic extra dimensional expression and sparkles and glitter is one of them. So it's easy for you to connect with. Yes, light reflection, right? Isn't that what we all are? That's funny because I never, that's totally not what I pictured. I just imagined, I thought that it was because while you're in a body that has physical senses to um, to have the biggest, boldest sense, if, um, use of that sense would be most fun and therefore sight and sparkling just seemed like it would be a fun thing while in a physical body. Well, it is that too, of course. Yes, it is. A rainbow is an expression of light, right? It has all the colors. You are light, I am light, so we are all the colors. So it is natural for me to want to be colorful. Yes, and it's just fun for the rest of us. And when for we, me, yes. Yes, we see the green and the sparkles, it's just fun, yeah. Well, well Dina, Thank you so much for being on this show. We really love this conversation. I really loved it too. And I appreciate when anyone will share with me their experience and um, let me really dig further into that because it's just fascinating. And I feel like that helps me to understand me as well. So I appreciate it very much. We will have to have you back on again. Anytime you say the, just say the word. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so, so much, everyone, for watching. We love you so much, and we will see you again very soon.